as I said to the IAEA, very directly recently, I can create nuclear material out of water. What are you trying to restrict us? I can create gamma rays, I can create whatever cosmic rays from just the glass of water. Isn't this what I did? That the damn forsaken nation of Belgium put me as a terrorist because they said the only way you can create graphene is, is only through the use of gamma rays. Did I use gamma rays? No. I created the fields that within the structure of the carbon allows carbon-14, which is the backbone of creation of the fields of the universe in the radiation, able to be created. And man has not even understood how to create carbon-14. Because I have the knowledge of the universe, I understand the interaction of the fields. Hello? H2O? Hello? 16? And 2 hydrogen? If I can change the two hydrogen in a specific way to deuterium, which I know how to do, doesn't leave me a carbon-14. Now you understand? We gave to mankind the most advanced technology. And what did they do? They made a criminal out of us. They punished them. But not receiving the knowledge. It dragged it for seven years, eight years. Now we open it. Understanding the knowledge is more important than trying to use the knowledge because when you understand it, you apply it when you can. But you have to know how to use it. You have to know what conditions you create that leads to what you need. Orientation of the carbon-14 in the interaction of the fields of the universe continuously creates the fields which leads to creation of the cosmic rays. When man understands this, man has cracked the secrets of creation. For me, as a passenger of universe, is an alphabet of the vocabulary of the science. It's actually the A of it, because without it you can't have the B. But you have not understood it yet. A pedophile policeman makes the biggest science in the work, in the life of the man, a crime. And then they send the women to make sure the scientists is killed and they can do what they like. You've got to understand, the knowledge I've given you in the creation of the CO2, in the CO2 box, look at it. Why did I give you the first box as a CO2? Carbon-12? What did I just explain with you with the oxygen, with the presence of the hydrogen? Haven't I given you carbon-14 without you understanding it? I've given you the basic alphabet of the creation in the world of the Creator, and you still what happens when we put the CO2 in, and you get this, and it doesn't work? Go to the structure of the body of man, you call it B12. Can you create all B9, which, folic acid, 
hello, I'm pregnant. Hyaluronic acid, you need faster division of the cells, which then comes from the radiation. I have given you the radiation creation in the fields of the universe. And you're still entangling, what would I do with the amino acid? What would I do with the creation of gas CO2? If you understand this, I have given you both the knowledge of the earthly knowledge and the knowledge of the universe in creation in your CO2 books. But you don't have the knowledge. And I've been looking at this for years. I said, where is humans going to see what they got? Go back into the what I call the original teachings. Go back to understanding the gas boxes we gave you. Understand now and look at it with a new eye. In a dimension of universal knowledge, not in a dimension of the man knowledge of plasma. I have given you the biggest gifts in the knowledge of humanity and the universe, if you know how to use it. I gave you the nano material for conversion. I gave you the understanding of nanotechnology from the matters of itself to understand in conjunction with the others, you will create the condition of existence. Now you understand the secret of the knowledge to connect man to the universal energies is your CO2 box. Go back to it and redo it. But this time, don't look at it in the dimension of just the CO2. Look at it in the dimension of the fields of transformation and division in the universal level. Then you might see what will be achieved in the enhancement unit in getting man into space. Do I need to elevate the whole body of the man to move it? Or do I create a condition of the carbon-14 and the level of the dimension of position and the place in the universe that I can deliver the soul to the point and the position? Be it New York, be it Moon, be it Jupiter, or another dimension in the universe. The technology of today is so mature. What I have taught you is so complete that if you understand it, man will not stay in the dimension of the physicality to suffer. You have both. The two key communication line of the universe in your hand. Go back to my teachings. Go back to all the medical teachings. Go back every time we touched about the health of the man. We said carbon is a connector. It's the line of communication. Macro and micro. In the dimension of physicality of the man, you have carbon too. In the dimension of connection of the universal, you have carbon-14. In some part of the universe, you come to carbon-16, and in some part of the universe, you come on 8. Understand why. What is the proposition? What is the understanding of it? What fields does it create that allows the composition and creation of sustaining a plasma? We call it life. Now you understand how fundamental the knowledge is and how much you've been taught the, what I call, human, earthly, matter state. But at the same time, in parallel, you had the knowledge of the universal communication and process of understanding. This is part of our work. And I just see Rick posting something. It says carbon-14 balances connection and locks between the physicality and soul. I don't know when this is published. 
It so, says uh, May uh, 2019. Uh, it's in the uh, KF Plasma Times, Mr. Keshe. It's part of the teaching. So you see, we have not missed. Now you understand. Now you understand the key of man to become the passengers of the universe in any dimension without physicality is your CO2 box. You have physical, it has emotion with it. I gave you creating zinc boxes. You have muscle tissue. I gave you copper boxes. But originally, I gave you the key to connection between universal and the earth matter state. So now, when you go to another dimension, which zinc doesn't exist, but it could be platinum, you make the gas of platinum, you have the emotion of the space and time. Now you understand how simple it is. When you know how to walk, you can dance and you can jump. You can dance to the beauty of the knowledge you have and you can jump from one dimension to another, from one nation to another, from one race to another, from one position to another. Now you understand why I said the teaching now become to understand the interaction of the both. What do you need of energy to extend the elevation of the soul within the structure? And what do you need to give in the structure of the physicality to create that promotion? I am a master of the teaching. As I said in the teaching of Tuesday, in addressing the Universal Council, we are the messengers from the depth of the soul of the Creator. And we have the full knowledge. It depends what our audience understand. When you are in the nursery, you go blah, 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 for the child to understand. When you come to the first year, we give you the alphabet. When you go to university, we see you, we show you the bigger picture of the knowledge. And when you graduated, in the knowledge of the universe, you will teach you the process of the graduation to be able to access. And at the moment, we speak blah, 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 blah. Because the man, that's as much as he understands. And with this teaching, we are bringing you to understanding of to come into the class one that we are finished with blah, 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 blah. Maybe to get a smile on your lips.